Alright, so to start this tutorial off, first thing that you're going to need are a few supplies. I have the Elmer's foam board here, and it is the 20 by 30 half inch. And I'm just stenciling out my design. Um, I kind of adjusted the design from the tutorial that I actually watched to make this. Uh, it's like the Master Death Scythe from I'm not too sure which anime. But anyways, you can go ahead and customize your own little design there. And then once you've got that all stenciled out, you're going to go ahead and cut it out using a knife, making sure that you do set a cutting board underneath, otherwise you're just going to destroy <laughs> the deck there. <laughs> but yeah, just go ahead and cut that out, and making sure to be very, very careful, going in like small little movements there. And uh, once you've got it cut out, we're going to do the exact same thing, stencil it onto another piece. And once that's all finished, you're going to take a nail file or sandpaper or something just to sand down the edges so they're smooth. And I also went ahead and got this little dowel thingy here from Michaels. Um, all the supplies I actually got from Michaels. And this is going to sit inside the PVC pipe. So once that's all good to go, I'm just going to stencil out the area that I want to have the dowel and put some hot glue down, glue it down, and then you're going to go ahead and start to add some foam to the center of it. So I'm actually using the Elmer's Foam Board Multi-Pack. There's five of them in the multi-pack. And yeah, you're just going to keep adding until it is the right desired thickness. Once you're finished, it should look a little something like this, a little crazy, but it doesn't really matter how it looks right now because we're going to be covering it up later on. So you can go ahead and glue down the second piece, and then we're going to be doing the exact same steps for the top part there. So gluing down one side and then adding some more thickness throughout. This one is a little bit trickier to add the second piece on top because it is such a big piece. So I would kind of lay it down in sections rather than trying to hot glue the entire thing and set it down because the hot glue will be dry by the time you try to do that. Trust me, I know. What the fuck is that? <laughs> so yeah, I did try to like glue down the whole thing and it was just a disaster. So definitely glue it down in sections. It'll be a lot easier and save you all the hassle. And as you can see here, I'm kind of bending the board just to fit, so if it does get a little bit bent and all yeah, fucked up, it's totally fine because we will be covering it up very shortly with some tape, and don't worry about it, just go ahead and do your thing. So once that is all finished, we're going to be taking the dowel piece and applying it inside the PVC pipe. I got this PVC pipe at Canadian Tire and it's really, really, <laughs> probably a bit too large. I did end up actually going back to cut it a bit more. But as you can see, we're going to fit it inside of the PVC pipe and we're just going to tape the entire thing using some scotch tape. You could use duct tape, uh, masking tape, whatever. And then once you're finished with that, you're going to go ahead and paper mache the entire thing, which I actually didn't film. But all you do is you take some Elmer's glue or some Mod Podge, add a little bit of water and obviously some newspaper and apply that throughout the entire piece. So once you've finished taping the entire thing, it should look something like this. And I didn't actually film this part, but what I did next was I added some paper mache to the entire piece. So the staff and the um, top part there. And I also hot glued the dowel into the PVC pipe. And yeah, just covered it with some paper mache. So all you do is you take some Elmer's glue or 
Mod Podge, a little bit of water and newspaper and you put it on top. That's all y'all do. And then once that's dry, you're going to take some spray paint and paint the entire thing. So I'm painting the top part silver, obviously. And once that's finished, we're just going to have a little kitty break. You know? <laughs> this cat is not my cat. It's uh, our neighbor's cat. And they just leave it outside all the time. But anyways, <laughs> once you finish painting the scythe part, we're going to paint the staff part black. So I'm using like a matte black. And that pretty much finishes off my tutorial. You can go back and paint it like a few different layers just to ensure that no, uh, none of the like paper mache will be showing through. I'll also make sure that I list all the supplies in the description bar as well for you guys if you're curious to know what exact products I use. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below letting me know and I will do my best to answer you back. And that finishes off my desk type tutorial. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video, found it helpful and useful to you in some sort of way. Let me know what you thought. And I will make sure that I link the video that I used for reference when I made this in the description bar below. So also check that out. And if you guys haven't checked out my Nick's Face Awards anime challenge video, I will also be sure to link that in the description bar as well. I'm really hoping that I'll be able to make it to top 12 for the Nick's Face Awards, fingers crossed. But regardless, I was very happy to make this video and hopefully you all like it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!